Hey guys, this is Pixel Fiend Tech here, and today we have yet another Corel Video Studio Pro X6 tutorial for you. Today I will be explaining the motion tracking feature, um, and I will also go over a bit of this little custom paths thing later on in the video. Okay, so first what I did was recorded this little video clip, so if I play it, you can just see um, once it loads that it's just me moving my hand across the screen. So what I'm going to want to do is to motion track is to just bring it back to the start, then right click on the, um, on the short clip and click on track motion. Then you see this pop-up window come up and you can simply select the area that you would like to track. So you can change it down here from um, this little point to a square. So I'm going to change it to square because it can be quite big. Um, and I'm going to just um, drag it to a place where I can make it bigger. Um, see if I can make it even. Okay, so that's the biggest it's going to go. So I'm just going to track to the palm of my hand. Then what I'm going to do is take this little blue icon, which is going to be the text or the object that is going to be tracking with it. All I simply need to do here is click on the track motion button, and it will it should stay roughly the same place in my hand. Now I do have to admit it doesn't work perfectly, but it is actually pretty good. You can see up here how much it is done, so it's just about 50%. And we'll just wait for this to come to the end. It has probably a few seconds left. Okay, so now you can see this motion track here. Um, so all I am going to do here is click OK. So you should see that, yep, it is tracked there. So if I go on to text, I'm going to double click to add text. Um, actually... Okay, yep, so I'm going to go into text, double click to add text, and just type in track, and I'm going to uh, put this um, motion track, I'm going to put it, uh, sorry, didn't mean to do that, uh, yes, okay, so what I'm going to do is do match motion, so it should Yep, here you have the same motion there. So if I play this, you can see that the word track stays on my hand. Um, now I can, of course, move that word track to a different part of the picture. So if I just click OK here, and then you should be able to see that does actually work pretty well. You can see the word track is going with my hand majority of the time and I am actually quite happy with that. So that is um, your basics on how to track motion. You can see I easily put text onto my hand. Now I'm going to quickly show you this custom paths tool. Okay so you can see all these basic ones but we're going to go on to custom. Um, sadly I do not actually uh, have any because, uh, oops didn't mean to click on that, because uh, you need to, I think you need to get the platinum one. So I'm just going to explain what these do. So simply drag it down on top of the clip, and then when I play, now you can see the clip follows that um, the pattern. So you can see the arc. So this one here is a spiral. So why don't we try that one out? So I'll drag that on, see if this works. Um, yes. So you can see the image is now moving about in the screen. Um, so that is um, quite a nice feature. Okay, so um, in this episode we have covered pretty much all the kind of paths, tracking. So you've seen how to track text to an object. And you can now um, make a path to kind of show where the image is going. So I really hope this video helped you. If it did, please share it. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if there was anything you didn't understand or simply anything you would like to ask, please email me. The address is in the description. And don't forget to leave a comment. Thanks for watching. See you.